After we arrived late in the evening, we spent the next several weeks enjoying the beautiful handmade hot tubs, the magical hot water, the shower, the library, the fire, and the green grassy lawn. Oftentimes, the area is very tranquil, but for a certain few special days, the area fills with people from all over the world. Some of these people have been coming for many years. During our long stay, we even met a spry 90-year-old man who has been coming here for over 40 years. It's kind of weird, this year there's no donkeys hanging around the camp, so, burritos. So we're going on a little mission. You can see the palm trees back there. That's the spring, obviously. And we're gonna try to find the donkey spring and see if we can find some donkeys. Lindsay wants to hug one. So, we're gonna follow this coyote trail out this way and hopefully it will take us to the Burrow Springs. You can see the hoops out here. One, two, all the way down the trail. As we suspected, there are donkeys in the area. Little wild donkeys. They're just over there and they're watching us. Um, I wonder if we can't get just a little bit closer. They're not letting us get any closer than this. The last time we had much greater success. try to make it to the top. Let's go! <laughs> okay, there's nothing but a small twinkle in the distance. There's a spring way off in the distance. Can't see the van anymore. down there, the most beautiful hot springs in the whole world, and our tiny little camper van. 
How strange is this? A little oasis with palm trees. Hot water gurgling out of the earth. So when we tell people that this is like a unique, one-of-a-kind place, something you're never going to find anywhere else on the whole entire face of the earth, this is what we're talking about. Massive mountains rising up out of an incredibly flat valley and dotted along the valley, perfect hot springs, perfect temperature, beautifully clean pools, a lawn. There's no place on earth like this place. Coyotes brave enough to come right around your camp. Three or four at a time. Between hikes, fires, jam circles, massive potluck dinners, and our daily chores, you relax the natural hot water that comes from deep within the earth and emerges at a perfect temperature for soaking. After several weeks, our food began to run low, and we began to feel we had overstayed our welcome. One morning we woke, packed up everything we had, and continued south. Unfortunately, the road out towards the south wasn't as easy going as we had hoped. Well, what do you think, Lens? We should have taken the north path. <laughs> we would have been on the pavement by now. <laughs>